<laughs> John Hyde. I, I think we're all here very concerned about the dangers of tribalism and the ways that religion uh, can stimulate and trigger very dangerous tribalism. Uh, I hear a lot of elements in your talk that are calling the tribe together to fight those dangerous outsiders led by the Templeton Foundation. Your Dante quote, the tone of your talk, in so many ways I think you're calling on us to join together to do battle and there's a special place in hell reserved for those who don't join. This I believe is the most dangerous form of corruption that we have in science. Science is in general a very pure, uncorrupted enterprise except in places where medical companies pay for research and then hide research they don't like. Um, I think the main form of corruption we have is exactly this kind of moralistic tribalism. Now, in psychology, um, we have our research agenda has been terribly skewed by the National Institutes of Mental Health, which basically funded research on mental illness, no interest in the positive aspects of life. The Templeton Foundation comes along, gives a lot of money to fund research on positive psychology. No corruption whatsoever. They give us the money, we do the research. There is never any attempt to suppress or, or use the research for their purposes. They decided that they would like to, that John Templeton wanted to use his money to increase the amount of research in a certain area. In psychology, the Templeton Foundation has been a force for good. There has been no corruption, no pressure. I don't know what's going on in the natural sciences. Maybe things are more alarming there. But even still, I think that given the ringing quotes that we've heard today about the glories of science, we would stand, we would, we would do ourselves uh, much greater credit, we would live up to our ideals if we would say, fine, you want to fund research? As long as there's no corruption, fund research. Um, if truth is left, if, if the best research is done and the truth comes out, ultimately the truth will come out. Uh, I think it is counterproductive, unless you know something I don't, unless Templeton is really twisting people's arms or lying or something like that, I think we would do much better to say, great, Mr. Templeton, if you want to give money to researchers, that's your business, than to say, hey, we have to band together to fight them. Okay, I, I think uh, that's wrong. And I'll tell you why. It's bound up with what Sean Carroll said and what certainly Bain said. What they're doing is just using you as, we, as they did during the, the, the Second World War and they put swastikas on the side of their Messerschmitt. The Templeton Foundation will not move one step away from a religious evangelical position. Now, I agree what they're doing is very, very clever in the sense that they're funding, say, we've got no strings attached here, but I'm asking them to now look at the study that they claim to be is important to them, the great questions, and ask them a statistical analysis. And I'm pointing out that the statistical analysis of the Royal Society on that issue is 90% atheistic. They are not, never, I guarantee they will never change their particular position. You have to dig deep into, into their st mission statement. The mission statement is to actually get spiritual realities. Uh, I know you, people are taking the money. I know a lot of people, but, uh, but that's, that's one. I mean, Sean, I'd, I'd be, be happy to, for you to make a statement on this too. I mean, I think the point about it is, yes, they're, they're blurring the borderlines. The question is, will they do what the, the scientific community did when they saw coal fusion? The Templeton Foundation published, uh, funded the biggest study ever done on prayer and healing. Okay, well then I... All right, you, you have to stand corrected. And how could you have missed this? This was a huge news story. Well, I didn't story. see that it was a Templeton Foundation, but... They funded the whole thing well, and they published it, even though it refuted exactly everything you just I'll said I'm, that they I'm, would say. So you're wrong. Wait. You're absolutely wrong. Just a minute. The data have refuted you. You need to apologize to the Templeton Foundation. No, I, you're wrong. I the will, data have spoken. You are not being a scientist I now. Will you're being an that, activist. I, I will accept that particular point. Oh, okay. And then what? Well, what I would say is look at the advertisement. The advertisement said, we got, I put the, the statistical data on one side and the non-statistical data on the other side. That is advertising by the Templeton Foundation. Okay? They the were, question that is was they, not an attempt at a scientific study of well, who believes Well, that's the problem. It, yeah, well, so they what? claim to They're be. Not they claim that. to be doing that. No, they that. don't. They claim to be doing not that. Not for that. That project was an essay contest, not a research study. Well, what, what else are they saying? That we want to do scientific, uh, we want to find scientific basis for these realities. I accept fully what you said about that. I wasn't aware that it was Templeton funded. Okay. Thank you. However, at the end of the day, will they accept? Will they accept there are no spiritual realities? Will they come out and make that? That is the point that I'm trying to make. Are you? Is, is this on this? Is point? this on? Yeah, but is this on this point? Because yeah. I want to finish. No, it is not on this point at all. Okay. 
actually. It's a little bit more mundane since um, I'm both a neuroscientist and a, a science educator at this point. And I'm out in the trenches with the students. And, you know, the premise that I enjoy hearing from everybody is that knowledge is going to benefit society. Because I think what's true, I, I, it's how I base my life, and it's what I do. But I think what's lacking for all of us is, is that a truth? Is that, you know, have we studied it enough to know that? Um, and, you know, I'm hopeful. I'm more of the scientist optimist viewpoint of that. And, but I'm not totally convinced, especially, you know, I, I deal with the students on a day-to-day on a -day basis, but well, I think we need as a, you know, as a group to study that, to continue to, to look at ourselves and to look at that issue because, you know, that's what Dan Dennett believes, that's what all we believe. If you disseminate the knowledge, if people have access to it, it changes, it moderates their opinions, it moderates their social behavior, and that's what we wish for. But I'm, you know, I'm hopeful but not convinced. Well, I, I, I can only answer that I don't think that education in the West, of a general education of all, across all the boundaries, a cross-disciplinary one, is going to be worse than just reading the Quran from morning Correct. to night. And I think if you say, well, I would hope that you would get better decisions on the basis of knowledge rather than ignorance. That's the only thing we've got. Yeah, and I, but this, and yeah. I, I think that's the answer. Of course, there are going to be people who are going to, if, if it's valuable and useful, people are going to misuse it, I think. But by and large, we, I don't think this, I think it's the only thing we have. Right. Yeah, I, th I think we have to, uh, in the interest of time, actually. Jerry, just uh, I'd like to. Well, just briefly on Templeton, for the record, they withdrew funding from the infamous Discovery Institute after Discovery misappropriated Templeton funds to advocate intelligent design theory. Uh, for whatever it's worth, Templeton embraces evolution. I've worked closely with them on a few projects. There are Christians in charge of, of Templeton. There are atheists in charge of Templeton. So you get a bit of a mixed bag there. And I endorse what Michael said about the uh, prayer and healing study. So, okay, we, Sean, we actually, we actually just went, one, went, one went, more, because we, I think that Harry, the point is what Sean's making. Just now, because we, I think it's, it's a fair point, and it's a blurring the boundary lines. That's, this that's is the, the last point. comment on this, because we did, we did sure. Templeton no, no, I agree, at but, great length last year with Charles Harper here. Yeah. But and we, we, we generated a great deal of hate and no light whatsoever. Yes, yeah, so I'll just say this very quickly and um. filled with facts. So I do think that the Templeton Foundation has often given money to scientists without strings attached, and I think there are demonstrable examples of that. There are also examples where they give money to someone who is holding a conference, for example, on submillimeter radio astronomy, and they say, by the way, we'll give you extra money to have a public speaker. And they bring in a public speaker, and the public speaker, Charlie Towns, Nobel Prize winner, gives a talk on how my scientific researchers have led me to believe in the existence of God. And that is something that would not have happened if the money had come from the National Science Foundation. 